Hey everyone, it's David here back in the shop and today I want to talk about uh, respecting our batteries a little bit more. Uh, I was always the world's worst for the first two and a half years of uh, getting into this hobby of um, charging my batteries, leaving them charged for months at a time and uh, I've lost a few of them uh, due to that. Um, and uh, really the main reason was is that even using the, the uh, uh, high-tech um, uh, four port charger that I have. It's a decent charger. It's probably a 250 buck uh, charger. Um, trying to do one into a balanced charge on that took forever. I mean we're talking uh, hours and hours uh, for it to get it uh, discharged down on from 4.2 volts per cell down to uh, 3.8. So I just never got into the habit of it. I'm like well I'll charge the battery and I'll either fly it or leave it charged. Simple as that. So I found this device here, and we'll zoom in on it in just a second, but it's called an uh, uh, AOK ODA, uh, and I'm, I, I could be wrong on the pronunciation of that. It's AOK ODA, it's a 150. I picked it up online, um, I think from Banggood, if I recall. Uh, you can get it from Amazon to different places. It's, it's not expensive, $19.95 uh, on it, and I think I got free shipping with it. Um, and it does a marvelous job at it. So let's take a, a little closer look at it. Okay, kind of Frankenstein looking, um, but there's a reason for that. If you look at these bulbs, try to get this in where a little closer uh, view on it. These bulbs get extremely hot. I mean, we're talking um, melt the flesh off of a zombie hot. Uh, literally, it'll burn your house down if you just laid it on the table. Uh, uh, that, that's no exaggeration. I mean, it gets it gets hot enough to melt your flesh. So I picked up these little holders um, that you can see there. They're not very expensive. I got them from uh, Home Depot, and uh, they were probably um, three bucks or so uh, for a package of four. Uh, the bulbs, by the way, are 12 volt, and um, so that's one of the things you'll need. And then I just screwed them to a couple of pieces of scrap lumber that I had here at the house. So the device itself, the AOCOTA, let's see if we can get this in view here on the camera and get it in fo focus. There it is right there, AOCOTA 150W. Sorry for the focus problems. AOCOTA uh, 150W. So I presume that means it's uh, good for 150 watts. Okay, so in the package, uh, it will come with um, your base module here. It will also come with your... Uh, control board uh, enclosed in a case. And then it comes with three bulbs and the sockets for the three, uh, three light bulbs. Uh, and again, they're 12 volt uh, bulbs. By default, it comes with an XT60 connector. So if your battery is running something besides that, you'll need an adapter. The device itself has your balance port uh, connections on here for 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S. So this device, besides having the balance port connectors, is designed to also give you your cell voltages. So I've got here a 3S from China Hobby. So we'll plug this in. See if you can get a shot down in here. Alright, so we can see here this battery is one that I flew a, a few minutes on. And when I landed, it's sitting on 3.94, 3.95, and 3.92. Once you got it plugged into the correct balance port, and you're looking down at your rest of your controls, you have one here that says cancel and mode. The next one says discharge and up selection arrow, and then a balance one that shows a down uh, selection arrow. So really, this is I'm only using it to uh, balance out. Um, the battery and discharge it. So balancing it is no different than any other uh, balancing uh, device such as this. It does take some time. However, discharging it, this thing works pretty quick. I'm going to try to zoom out now and see if I can show you this in action. So this is a again a 3S China Hobby battery sitting on uh, 3.95 on an average. So we just plug this into the port. 
Now, I've got mine set up to be mounted on Velcro, uh, primarily for storage. Uh, if you look at it, it does have some vent holes uh, down here on the bottom. So if you put Velcro on it, make sure you don't cover up those, those vent holes. All right, see if we can leave that down here where you can see the numbers. And all you do then is hit the discharge. Now, I have uh, already went through on the mode and uh, set it to... Uh, Alright, so you notice the bulbs started lighting up, first one, and then two, and then three. So the control module uh, that's flashing uh, red light here uh, on it, that's what's controlling how much juice that it's uh, sucking out of the battery to power up your light bulbs. Um, and that in turn will determine you know, how quickly or whatever the uh, rates go down. So you can see it's already sitting at 386, uh, 388, and 385. So it works fairly quick. Uh, now I have not tried using this on a fully charged uh, uh, LiPo battery yet. Uh, it's mainly just on um, uh, ones that are like this. It, it didn't get discharged all the way down to 3.8. Um, already down at 3.85, 3.86, now it's 3.84. So what I've done before is I would, uh, uh, after a day of flying, discharge all of the packs. Well, 3S batteries are getting, well, you know, like Bruce over at XJet says, oh, they're cheap as beans, yeah. Sorry, Bruce. I know that's a bad impersonation, but uh, Bruce is uh, uh, a person that I've learned a lot from. If you haven't checked out uh, his channel, there'll be a link down below. So make sure you go in, uh, and review it. Bruce says uh, he's one of those uh, rare fellows out there that is a, a fantastic instructor. I mean, he, he's got the gift of teaching. So, uh, uh, appreciate your channel, uh, Bruce, by the way. Uh, no, it's not a paid uh, endorsement <laughs> by any means. I've never met Bruce, never even conversed with him. But uh, he does a fantastic job out there to the uh, RC community. So, make sure you check it out. So, right now, in just the short time that we've been going, we're already at 381, 382, and 381. So, just another uh, few minutes here, and that'll be a, um, you know, balance or uh, uh, discharge down to the... Uh, a good storage voltage at 3.8. Um, now temperature on these um, is very very warm. Alright so probably can't see it on camera due to the angle but that's at 188.8 degrees on that middle bulb and it's only burning uh, slightly because the uh, uh, interface is already showing 3.81. Now this one seems to be balancing it pretty close to along the way. It's 3.8, 3.81, and 3.81. So as it figures out and gets close to where the setting is that I've got it, the bulbs will gradually get dimmer and uh, as such uh, cooler um, until it reaches the level uh, that's preordained in it. We're still bouncing 380, 381, 382. So bouncing back and forth there, trying to uh, get them all down uh, at a, a as quick as possible, uh, but as safe as possible. These uh, packs, uh, this one right here is a China Hobby 3S um, 55C uh, pack. Picked that up on sale from China Hobby's website for oh, it was pretty cheap. I want to say it was uh, uh, 11.99, 11.95, something like that. It's under $12. Uh, picked them up on sale uh, back around Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, really a big difference. Uh, I, before that, I was using primarily the uh, uh, Hobby King, the Turnigy packs. And uh, those was rated at 30 and 40 C discharge. And I put this in here. And literally, I got a, my, well, my Super Sports if I put one of these China Hobby 55 Cs in there, it's got unlimited vertical. Uh, if I put my... Um, uh, Hobby King Turnigy pack in there at 30C, it does not. It runs out of vertical. So now that could be the because the Turnigy battery is older and, and what have you, but um, uh, for sure the uh, it's a noticeable uh, improvement on this on the punch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there's definitely a noticeable improvement on the uh, 55C uh, pack. Okay, so as we can see, we're narrowing it down to the uh, finish line here. And before we had all three bulbs burning, and now we've just got the one. And you notice it's going uh, brighter to dimmer. Uh, the reason for that is um, it, it pulls more voltage 
when you have a lot of room to work with. So in other words, it drains off uh, excess voltage very quickly. When it gets close to uh, your target uh, that you have pre-configured in it, then it's going to start slowing the uh, drain down to a trickle so that it doesn't over-discharge your battery. So uh, that last few minutes actually takes as long as the initial first part does. Um, so when it gets down close like this, 3.81, um, I actually will just come and disconnect it at that point uh, if I have multiple batteries to uh, to drain. Uh, if I just have one or two, then I'll let it go through until it reaches its natural um, um, end of cycle on its own. But um, yeah, if you did want to uh, cancel it where it's at, all you got to do is just hit your, your cancel button and it would stop it. Uh, but we'll let it keep running here for a second just to see if we can watch the light bulb actually go out. I'm going to try to zoom in on it here a little bit. If you notice over here on the right hand side you've got little icons of uh, light bulbs. Um, even though the bulb is not lit up it still has millivolts uh, being drained through the uh, control data port. Um, not enough to actually uh, ignite the filament in the bulb and light it up but it is enough to trickle off um, voltage so you can see if it's on solid over here, when I say solid, I mean it's it's flashing, but it's it's got an icon showing all the time. That means it's it's active. When you see like this top one up here, it's already at 3.8, bouncing between 3.80 and 3.81. It's not lit um, uh, constantly like here. It's out. Now it's back on. So it's trying to keep pace with the others to let the uh, battery drain down, um, you know, to your pre-designated pre settings. Uh, and that's why it's taking its time when it's hitting 3.81. It's just trickling it off to uh, to try to get it down at a, a moderate level so it doesn't go past 3.80. Now this does get warm uh, on the back of it where I showed you the uh, vent holes. I mean, it's not so hot you can't touch it, but it's, it's definitely... Uh, uh, you know, a little bit of warmth to it. That's why you wouldn't want to cover those vent holes up. I think you'd really shorten the lifespan on the unit if you did. So I don't use mine attached to the Velcro. I just have the Velcro there to, to store it. And also the uh, control module over here uh, is not uh, glued together. So uh, you could uh, snap that apart and change that connector out. Um, desolder that XT60 and put you a EC3 or Deans or whatever connector that you predominantly use uh, if you're handy with a soldering iron obviously but uh, myself personally I would just use a, a adapters on the battery to, to get the job done so now we can see that that um, middle light is just barely a, an occasional glow and our numbers are pretty constant at 381 and to 380 um, so it's just a, barely a trickle charge off right now. And like I said, at this point, if I had multiple batteries to drain, I'd just unplug it. Hit cancel first and then unplug it. And, uh, 381 is just as good as 380 in my opinion. But this thing does try to get it to be a little more, a uh, little more um, uh, precise and, uh, on, it, on its final destination. And again, uh, I may have the pronunciation on this uh, incorrect. I call it the a AO Coda because it's uh, easier to say than AOK Oda, uh, which, and looking at it with the capital letters, I'm uh, going to assume that the, pronounce, uh, the correct pronunciation is AOK Oda. Now, you can buy a really, really top end battery discharger. Uh, run about uh, 90 uh, to $100, um, but they uh, um, spit out about uh, or draw down about 300 watts, so uh, it'll really discharge the batteries quicker uh, than this will. But bang for the buck, uh, this thing at $19.95, we'll say, uh, on average, and then another uh, $4 for the brackets to hold the bulbs. And you definitely got to have something to put these bulbs in. Uh, don't make a mistake of just laying those loose on their, on your work table. Uh, you'll uh, you, you'll regret it if you do. Uh, I've got a plastic table that this is sitting on, and it literally will melt that plastic. And if it's on wood, uh, you could actually cause a fire. Or well, not to mention, if you accidentally touch the bulbs, uh, you will uh, 
uh, not do it but once I think you, you probably learned your lesson it's warm so all in probably uh, we'll call it twenty three twenty four dollars something like that uh, assuming you got scrap wood and some velcros to to mount the stuff to so pretty cheap uh, that's basically the cost of a couple of three cell batteries and you'll be able to um, uh, extend the life of all of your packs by keeping them down at a discharge um, uh, storage discharge um, capacity so it's money well spent on this now with all lipos you should not do this with it unattended uh, unless you're in a safe spot so uh, when I'm using it unattended, I'll put it in my middle of my garage floor um, that has nothing around it that can catch on fire other than just this right here. There's no breeze in here to blow the, the um, sparks around or nothing like that. So the worst case scenario, I'll have a stained concrete floor and a, and a bad smell in the, in the garage. So I would not uh, you do this unattended inside or uh, even out here in the garage on a, on a workbench, uh, strictly on a concrete floor. Uh, just because you never know, it could uh, cause a um, um, a compromised pack to um, ex uh, you know short out and, and catch fire. So rather rather be uh, cautious um, uh, on it. Uh, but I've not experienced any problems at all with packs getting warm or or anything. I mean, it it draws it off at such a slow rate um, that I, I don't think there's any danger of that. I mean, you can see right now that the um, bulbs are no longer lighting up and hopefully you can see it but it's 380 and there's no lamp lit up of, uh, well now that I said it it lit up and the bottom one so top and bottom ones are uh, just trickling in off and on and it's mainly the middle cell that's still drawn down triple voltage but again you can see it's not enough to even light the light bulbs up so it's just a real minute uh, trickle charge and for me we'll call that good uh, to save time on the video here so I'll just hit the cancel button and, uh, and we'll just disconnect it from the control port and we can see all of them are balanced out at 3.81 so I didn't even need to uh, come back in and rebalance these mainly because the pack was in pretty good shape to start with alright so there it is the uh, AO Coda or uh, if you will AO Coda 150W Highly recommend this to uh, add to your toolbox. Thanks for watching.